What is going on guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And man, I just got done watching the finale. That's why I'm a bit tired. But bro, what a finale that was. That was crazy, bro. Man, I don't even know where to start, man. But let's just go down the list and then we'll talk about who won the game and how I feel about the winner. So we first see that Anthony wins part one of the three-part HOH so now we get to see Bailey versus Lexus in part two and we see that Bailey wins part two so shout out Bailey so now in part three we're gonna see Anthony versus Bailey and Anthony wins in the tiebreaker so now all Anthony has to do is pick somebody to join him in a final two and we get to crown the big brother winner. And when Anthony chooses the player he wants to pick, he says, you know, he's picking this person because he thinks he can beat this person. And I'm looking at the two players that are sitting down there, Lexus and Bailey. I'm just like, who is, that? Who is he talking about? And I'm thinking, damn, he could be talking about Bailey or or Lexus because I feel like he could beat either one of them. I feel like Anthony played a good enough game, and one might say probably the best game of the season, and he could beat either one of them. But if he if he picked Lexus, I feel like Lexus played a better game than Bailey. I, I mean, Bailey played a better game than Lexus. So if he were to pick Bailey to sit next to final two, it would be a lot tougher for him to beat Bailey because Bailey played a better game than Lexus. And I think it would have been, you know, easier to beat Lexus because what has Lexus done? Has she won an HOH? Only thing she's won was one veto. So Anthony she decides to pick Bailey for the final two. And then I'm just like, okay, maybe Anthony just likes to make things harder on himself. But he, he said that this person's more beatable. So he thinks Bailey is more beatable than Lexus. Oh my gosh. How could you think that? How, why does he think that? Okay, I'm going I'm to cut him some slack. Maybe he thinks because hot chocolate would vote for Lexus because Lexus isn't hot chocolate. Okay. But we've seen that hot chocolate doesn't really like Lexus. They... And I think Anthony would know that, and and Bailey was in a an alliance with all of the members of Hot Chocolate too, so that doesn't even matter to me if I'm Anthony because they they both worked with the girls in the jury, so I don't think that's the reason. I think he just genuinely believes that Bailey didn't do enough compared to Lexus, and I don't know why he thinks that. Bailey's won a couple eight. I think she won at least one HOH and a, and a couple more vetoes. So she's done enough to, you know, have every right to deserve to win this game. And what has Lexus done compared to Bailey? I, I'm just repeating myself, but I think Anthony made a mistake by picking Bailey to sit next to final two over Lexus. But anyway, so we get to the final two um, and we see the jury members. Um, the bitter jury members. So we get to some of the questions, and some of the questions that were asked were pretty good. You know, I like Tola's question. He asked Bailey, um, "Why do you think um, Anthony should lose to, to you?" And Bailey gave a gave a great answer. She was just like, "Man, Anthony's a king," and I'm just like, oh, "You're calling him a king," but you know, I like the way she used that metaphor and. She, she said that kings don't move much and that she's a queen and she had to move a lot more and do a lot more. And I, I like that analogy. But, you know, I feel like, in my opinion, Anthony was a king and he didn't, he could just apply that same analogy to himself and just flip it. And he should have done that. I don't know why he didn't. But he said, yo, I didn't have to do much because I was a king and I didn't have to do as much because I was in control. You know what I'm saying? I had other people doing it for me. I had my pawns and they were making the moves and I was make I was making them make those moves for me. And he could have just flipped that perfectly and I wish he did that, but he didn't. Um any and Anthony could have been like Bailey, 
you weren't the queen. Spicy V was the queen, and I got the queen out. Bro, he could have flipped that perfectly. Like, there were so many ways that Anthony could have just maybe swayed some of the jury members in his favor. You know, the ones that were bitter um, to begin with. And I feel like Anthony's answers weren't bad, but they were just too rehearsed. You could just tell, like, he just thought about it too much. And Bailey's felt more authentic. So in this stage of the game, I would say Bailey outclassed Anthony when it came to answering some of the jury members' questions. Um, we've seen that Spicy V out the gate just calls Anthony, yo, why should I vote for the trash? So we can already see that Spicy V is still very bitter about Anthony voting her out. And Anthony says, yo, I, it's because like, if I didn't get you out, I probably wouldn't even be sitting here. So he does kind of acknowledge that Spicy V was a threat to his game and he needed her out. But I, I felt like he didn't really say that exactly like that. He just kind of went in the route of like, again, saying how Spicy V betrayed him and that like spicy you would never get spicy v's vote if you went that route you had to build up her ego and say how strong of a player she was and he didn't really do much of that either so when it came to the questions bailey outclassed anthony and but there was still one more part before we crowned the winner which is the speeches and this is where i think anthony kind of edged out bailey which is the speech because we get bailey's speech first and all she really says is like she was very loud and she's very passionate. She's a great speaker. But the words that are coming out of her mouth are just like she's building up Anthony. I'm like, why are you building up your opponent during your speech if you want to win? She was saying, yeah, Anthony did a lot. We, we won about the same amount of competitions and all that. But I just did more. It's like, yo, if you're saying that y'all did the same amount of competitions and won the same amount of competitions, why are you saying you had to do more? You had to... Like, if you're saying you did the same amount of comp, won the same amount of competitions, why does she keep saying she did more? Like, that doesn't make sense. And she, and like, she brought up, like, being a female, how she wants to be, how she wanted a woman to win. And that, that's a great angle for the jury that's mostly women. So that was a great angle she pulled. But, like, other than that, it's like, you didn't really say much in your speech. You build up Anthony, said how a, win a woman should win this season, and that's all you really did. Then we get to Anthony's speech, and Anthony pulls out the sympathy card, saying how, you know, he was fired from his job right before he entered the game, and how um, one of his closest friends passed away right before he had to enter the house, and he had to bury him a week before he entered the house. Damn. Damn. Going the sympathy route... Is a, is a risky thing because even if everything you're saying is true, and it probably is, the jury might not care at that moment. They might see, think you're trying to manipulate them. So I wouldn't have gone the sympathy route. You know what I'm saying? I would have just stuck strictly to the game. But other than that, I think Anthony's speech was solid. Talked about how he was the best player of the season, how this game isn't about, you know, serving, serving drinks to people you know basically undermining bailey's game because bailey was just talking about how she had to work hard and all that and he's like yo yeah you work hard being a waitress <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i was in control i didn't have to do all that you know that that hard labor i was the boss i was making i was telling people what to do i was in control i never had a, got nominated to sit on the block and these are all great points that he's making and I think they were all solid points. And I feel like Anthony said everything he needed to say in that speech where he didn't, what he didn't say during the questions, he said it in that speech. So, and was that enough? I thought it was enough, especially what we've seen this season. He definitely wasn't controlled, but the jury, man, you got to manage the jury. And people want to always talk about jury management, but how do you manage a bitter jury? Like, how do you do it? I've never seen it happen before where somebody clearly played a better game than the person they're sitting next to, but they did it in a way where it pissed a lot of people off and they're sitting in the jury and I've never seen them made those jury members feel better. How do you do that? Is it from your goodbye messages? Like, do they get, uh, yeah, they do get those in Big Brother Canada. 
And I, you know, I don't know how well Anthony did in those the goodbye messages, but if 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 you don't manage your jury well, you're not gonna win the game. Doesn't matter how good of a game you would play, and that's unfortunate. I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying that's what it is. And Anthony didn't even get two votes. He <laughs> Bailey Molly Watt Anthony got. It was a six to one vote. Anthony, bro. <laughs> You, this game isn't for you, bro. You got to the final two twice and you lost twice like Paul Ibrahim. They like to compare you to Dan, but you're not even you're not Dan, you're Paul, bro. This was a joke. And I'm not saying you deserve to lose. I'm just saying this happened to you and this game ain't for you, buddy. It ain't for you, bud. And I, and I'm not saying what happened was right. I'm just I'm just surprised that you didn't see this coming. The way that you played, you pissed the jury off and you thought they would vote for you. You thought you thought saying Bailey was beatable would help you. Like, dude, I saw somebody tweet out like you somebody said, yo, saying this person is beatable just makes me think want to vote for that person. And like Anthony just came into the final two too cocky. Thinking he could bring Bailey and just win easily. No, dude. And I said it in my other videos. I was saying, yo, if Anthony brings Bailey. I don't understand why he kept on wanting to bring Bailey to the end. I kept on saying that. And he did. And he lost. And I'm like, why would you do that? Getting rid of Lexus would have been the dumbest move. And he did the dumbest move of the season. You played the best game, but you made the dumbest move of the season, Anthony. And that's why you lost. You didn't lose because of a bitter jury. You lost because you made the dumbest move of the season. You brought Bailey, who the jury loves. The jury loves Bailey. Canada loves Bailey. Canada loves Todd and Bailey. Todd won Canada's favorite player. So, Anthony, as you played a better game and you deserve to beat Bailey. But the jury didn't think so. And that's why you lost. And you also lost because you made a dumb decision. So... Yeah, we could all blame the jury all we want, but you could have avoided that bitter ass jury <laughs> by by bringing Lexus the final two. And man, what a what what a way to end this shitty season, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this season sucked, bro. It started sucking as as soon as Donna left. I'm not gonna lie, man. But anyway, guys, comment <laughs> comment down below, just whatever you want, man. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, but. Anthony Anthony played himself. You should have brought Lexus the final two. But the jury was bitter as hell too. So blame yourself before you blame the jury. That's all I gotta say. And that jury was bitter as hell. You should have crowned the best winner. You should have you should have crowned the the best player this season. So I'm mad at Anthony for making a dumb move. And I'm mad at the jury too for making for, for being bitter. I'm mad I'm mad, I'm mad at the jury from Big Brother Can from Big Brother USA 19 and, and and 16 for being bitter. For not voting for Paul, man. Or, or 18, my fault. Not 16. 18 for not voting for Paul, man. I hate bitter juries. I hate it. Alright, guys. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bless up and peace. Congratulations, Bailey.